All right, welcome everybody to a very special edition of Asian Guys Talk About Rap. Minus the stoop, because I'm not good enough for the stoop, nah, is you, what y'all saying. Too good, too good, too good. How you gonna, gonna deprive me of the chair, The leather man. chair. This video, we are going to talk about being an Asian rapper, which you know a lot about. For the first time ever, I have the most clarity and the most peace in regards to this topic because there was definitely a time where I've wrestled and struggled with it too, in terms of like, is it a term that I embrace? Or is it a term that I'd be like, nah, don't ever dare call me an Asian rapper. Yeah, but ironically, I'm right, defending like, it like that. <laughs> don't, call me, don't call me an Asian rapper. It man though, don't call me an Asian rapper. <laughs> you can't control what people call you anyways. So I always feel like sometimes instead of being counterproductive and, and go about defending yourself, saying whether you are or aren't something, kind of focusing that same attention to things that are more productive, like really the craft of it. For the youngins out there, once upon a time, there was this, <laughs> this channel called BET, and this young man, right, early 20s, appeared on this channel as a freestyle battle. That young man didn't know, but apparently he was doing something that the world had never seen, mm -hmm. right? Just a young Asian American stepping into this platform. You didn't know that every time you stepped out of the house and did something, performed, you were actually representing a whole world of people. An uncountable amount of people, whether I wanted to or not, looking at me as, you repping us. And right? I think and you're I, our at, only representation yeah. in this at world. At this point, in yeah, this world. And, and this platform. So yo, everything you do better make us look good. <laughs> and, yeah, and I ain't gonna front, like at, at the time. You felt that? I did feel it. And, and maybe some of my miscalculations was the way that either I fed into it, a lot of times people say when society gives you a very strong image, a stereotype, yeah. you have three options. Yeah. You can either fight it, yeah. you can embrace it, yeah. or you can twist it. Ooh. What we do is like, we take a stereotype and we kind of like jujitsu it where you're not punching it in the face, yeah. but you're kind of like trying to grapple with it to bring it to your direction of yeah. where you want it. A combination of the embracer, right? First and foremost, I was the embracer. And I think unintentionally, because it was a younger time of me, there was also the um, one that you didn't mention, the exploiter too. Oh, <laughs> I think I exploited it at times. And this was just because in real time, I don't think I had the knowledge or the firm understanding of what this platform really meant. And I think this is an important note for a any aspiring Asian artist that yeah. anytime an Asian face does something cool out in the public or on the big stage, yeah. it matters to Asian people. I think it's just a matter of finding that balance. And each dude is on their own journey, right? But finding the balance of where you do embrace it, you do acknowledge it, but you don't let that define you mm -hmm. all the way. It's Indeed. more tight to just do you and represent who you are. And I feel like he comes from an era where that's that's the thing right there. Most Asian rappers have serious identity issues. Yo, same here. I mean, I, I, I think that's kind of been the story of my journey. Whether it be aspiring rappers or just whatever you're aspiring to do. I think is to have, it would be so dope to, if you can early on, have clarity about that identity mm -hmm. thing. Yeah. But like I've said, the reality of life is sometimes you don't come to that conclusion until you go through the fire, right? You might have to go through several seasons and phases before you actually be like, whoa, this is where I was supposed to be the whole time. Young Asian rappers who message us because they know that we think about Asian rap a lot. <laughs> and they're always like, yo, can you plug my stuff? What can I do to be better? And yeah. I always look at their stuff and it's not popping, yeah. but it's because they're confused, like you said. And yeah. to figure that out early on is so crucial because yeah. they're like a trying to appeal to this group or this group, group and yeah. they're trying to talk about this thing, but their life is not this thing. They think Indeed. that they're supposed to be doing this, Indeed. but actually Indeed. at the end of the day, like they don't understand like kind of the larger picture where they fall into place, how they're how to use it. Because you kind of got to know, um, I feel like to get a grasp of it, you got to know where you fall in the larger society so that yeah. you can work around it. They all are looking for this secret to success or the secret right. to how to get your foot in. And I'm like, there is no secret. The only thing I can tell you from my own experience is, yo, if you don't have the passion for it, don't even do it. That's not to say that you won't be that guy who drops that one, you know, Soulja Boy telling <laughs> hit and it propels you through, you know, the stratosphere. Oh, why me crack it, why me roll? Why me crack that Soulja Boy, that Superman, that but for every one of those, there's tons of guys who grind years and years and years and years. Some of them just to make it, but forget about the ones that grind years and years and years and years and don't ever make it, right? That's just the reality of life and this right. thing. If you have a true legitimate passion for it, you're successful from the moment you start. 
because your, 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 your fulfillment doesn't come from the outcome. Your fulfillment is coming from the course of it, right? From the open mics that you do, whether it's 100 people or five people. You're just like, yo, I just rocked that, even though it was only five people. And you're the guy that's at home writing anyways, even if nobody ever listens to it. Any last words to young Asian rappers or artists out there or people interested? Yo, cop my album, 1459. Okay, <laughs> step number one, cop the album. <laughs> study, study that. You know what I'm saying? That. that is it the, apart. Yo, the that's map the, to that's the, the game is yo, contained in the album. <laughs> for the young Asian American aspiring rapper, that is the Illmatic <laughs> blueprint. Hey, can, we, can, we, can we do a decoded a of 1459? Uh, 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 Stanconia, Tribe no. Quest, oh. Oh. Midnight Marauders, okay. all of that wrapped into one album. So oh. if you even want to, you know, be an Asian rapper, you need that in your collection. Oh. 1459. Please hook me up with a disclaimer at the bottom nah. that says, that was the most <laughs> extremely delirious statement ever. But yeah, so that's like number one. Number two, I think, don't let you know, the rap game change you, change the rap game. All right, everybody, we hope you enjoyed that video. We hope that, uh, we know it was long, we got a lot to say. Yeah. We, this could literally go on for days. 1459, you get it on iTunes right now. One last thing, uh, 1459, I'm approaching and saying, yo, this is the last second of that 15 minutes of fame. But hopefully, as, as this 15 minute comes to an end, that just means the next journey begins, right? And that's what I feel like right now. <laughs> In the comments below of this video, please tell us how hip hop or music has changed your life, Absolutely. impacted you and your personality, and impacted your path and what you believe. Because Absolutely. it's totally another culture that's impacted all our lives. So, yes. thank you for watching. Subscribe to our channel. Check out Jin's channel. Check out uh, his new album, 1459. Subscribe to Richie's channel. We out. Peace. Peace.